Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in a beautiful new deck today, the Historic Buddhism of Japan Oracle Cards. We're going to connect with this deck and I'm going to read the energy intuitively around you, your person, your journey. And I'm also going to complement this deck with the gorgeous deck, the Twin Flame Love Oracle, The Secret Messages of Union. So we're going to see what secret messages not only does your person have for you, but what secret messages does the universe want to share with you today about this journey, about this love. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around you today? What's the energy around you today? A clear card, please. A clear card. A clear card. There it is. And what's the energy around your person today? Can we get a clear card, please? A clear card around them. There we go. And the energy around the connection, the journey itself. What do you need to be aware of? One card, wow. And there's also a card sticking out of the deck here, so I'm going to take that too. I love how we've got this kind of energy of this wheel here as well. And I'm really seeing this as divine intervention and things moving forward the right way. You know, I'm seeing a real regal energy in that energy there, in that card. So I'm seeing this as things moving in the right direction. So what's the energy for you, the secret message? Or what does the universe or your person want to let you know? Or what are you working on right now? One card, wow. And what's the energy around them? They are giving me a block in the throat chakra. Remember, we are connecting with ascension symptoms right now. So maybe some energy coming in around you of cold and flu-like symptoms or... You know, things that you are purging out. And it's because you are preparing for the next level, the next phase on your journey. So we've got very clear cards coming out today. I'm also going to bring in the Divine Masculine Gets Real Oracle. They're just guiding me to this step right now. So what's the energy around you today? The energy around you today. We've got two cards. The energy around your person. Look at that flying out flying out and the energy around the journey again flying on the floor one sticking out one flew out on the floor i'm going to pick this card up and it feels like that's very out of reach so your person may feel that you're out of reach right now you know they may be a little bit nervous and anxious about you moving on maybe they are going to reach out to you and you're thinking well you know i'm going to wait a minute before i reach back out to them or you know maybe you're just really busy right now or you're focusing on you and i feel that they are afraid of losing you. So they're a little bit afraid of reaching out to you because they don't know how you're going to react or even if you're going to be there. So the energy we've got coming for you is attraction. They are attracted to you right now. They want you. And that's because you're shining. Now I'm connecting with this card as in you are highly attractive right now because you are shining your light and that makes you receptive to the powerful energy of source. And that gives you light and power and that makes you a beacon of light and a source of power. So I'm seeing this as you're very magnetic right now and you're attracting in what you want. So you may be working with law of attraction right now to bring your dreams and desires. Maybe you've been manifesting this, manifesting them, reaching out to you, manifesting contact from them. And they are saying to you today, I want you. I don't want anybody else, I want you. And that may well be how you feel about them, but they want you to know that that's how they feel about you. And also the goals that you have, you can work on them right now because you're attracting them in. So I feel this is a huge message from the universe that's saying to you, you are attracting your goals, you are attracting your dreams. If you work on your goals right now, and you really want them enough, they are going to start manifesting for you. Now, the secret here is there may be a karmic partner holding things against them. Now, this is really interesting because before doing this reading today, I thought I'm going to do an extra reading today. I'm going to do a karmic reading today. But I obviously wanted to still jump on and do this reading because I know that not everybody is dealing with a karmic situation. For example, not everyone's masculine not everyone's person is going to be in a marriage or a living arrangement or a connection, but there may also be other things going on. There could be a toxic family member. There could be a friendship that seems to be affecting things. There could be a job or an addiction or a codependent behavior, and we can definitely connect with that. But what I'm feeling here is there may be some karmic things getting in the way right now. 
and the wheel is breaking these karmic cycles. So when I'm connecting with this, what you need to take from this message here, because I feel this is also a sign from heaven for me to do an extra karmic video today. So if you're dealing with a karmic relationship or if you're dealing with your own karmic situation, check out the video a little bit later on. But the angels are saying to you, don't let go because your union is so close. Can you see this at the bottom here? Give them time to break the wheel of anything karmic or anything that may be trapping them or anything they were afraid of right now because there's a lot of change going on. And that's why I feel I was guided to the wheel, you know, seeing this as a wheel because the wheel of fortune is about destiny. It's about divine intervention. It's about having faith in the process. And I feel that's exactly what's taking place. So let's have a little look at this one. Yeah, look at this. I'm seeing this as the need to meditate, the need to calm your mind, the need to relax, the need to be at ease with where you are. So I'm seeing this energy coming in here as you being at ease with your journey. And when you're at ease with your journey, not only are you attractive, but you are magnetic to receiving your dreams. So you know that you can connect with your person on the 5D realm through meditation, astral travel, through dreams. And you also know that when you calm your mind and relax and breathe, you are in the energy and the art of allowing. So you're able to manifest very quickly. So in this card, I'm seeing this as you rising up and raising your vibration to be attractive to your dreams. And that means that you are attractive to your person and they want you. So any goals you have right now, it's a perfect day for you to work on them because you are attracting them. And if you're dealing with a karmic situation, I'm going to connect with that later on because the message is the karmic partner or, and remember this karmic partner is not only a relationship, you know, to them, like a wife or a husband or, you know, some kind of person they're living with, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, this could be a boss, it could be family, someone karmic is holding things, personal things against you or against them right now that may be threatening the connection. So outside influences may be in the way. Okay, so they may be a little bit afraid of walking away from that person or that job or that situation because they don't want to cause drama. So the timing may not be right yet. And that's what is being healed. So if something seems to be in the way or trapping them or stopping you from being together, remember, it's just a pause in action. It's just a slight delay. You know, it can't be delayed forever, this love. You're being protected right now. So if something like that seems to be affecting your goal or affecting your vibration, work on raising your vibration today because you are manifesting your dreams. And then if you resonate with this card here, I'm going to go deeper into this in a further reading today. Now let's connect with your person. They are saying to you, look at this, I'm dreaming of you. My dreams, you are always in them. You're always in my dreams. Why? Because you matter to me. So they want you to know today that you have their attention, that you matter to them. And they are constantly dreaming about you and daydreaming about you. That means when they are sleeping, you're in their dreams, but you are also in their minds and on their mind when they are awake, when they are daydreaming, going around their day. So they are saying to you today, dreams, you're always in them because you matter to me. You matter to me. And right now there's a clearing going on. Your DM, your person, your special one is clearing out anything karmic, anything old, any wounds, anything from the past and the present. So expect a strong wind to come in and clear out the space for union and communication. So this really resonates with yesterday's reading about the changes, 555, things moving around, things shifting, especially between now and the fall season. So between now and October, there's going to be many, many things like karmic endings taking place and many, many things like, you know, separations ending to bring you together. And they're giving me tooth pain and that's connected with decisions. So there's going to be lots of decisions happening to bring you back together. So right now your person is getting rid of the old and clearing the clutter and releasing pain and forgiving themselves and releasing wounds to be able to come back towards you. And there may even be a physical wind around today. So if it's windy where you are, or you're feeling winds, and this can also be about gas, you know, passing gas physically, it's about releasing, releasing what needs to go. So I feel there could definitely be a wind around 
the weather, you know, there could be a wind, there could be a tornado somewhere today, or there could be some real, you know, you know, kind of blustery energy around. So you're going to feel the wind, even if it's not there. I feel that they may be dealing with ascension symptoms connected with gas, because when they release gas, it can be releasing fears around wanting to move forward, but not being able to. And if they are trapped in a situation, they may be releasing trap winds. So trap winds could come up as a burp or it could come out as, you know, releasing the other way. You know, what we would call a fart. And we are human, so we do go through physical things. So if you find that you are releasing gas, you know, whether it's coming through your mouth or from behind you, you know you're connecting with them, releasing things so they're able to communicate with you. And again, I feel this really does resonate with karmic endings, and that's why I'm being guided to do an extra karmic reading later. And the energy, look at this for powerful, because again, I'm seeing this as them, I'm seeing a real masculine energy in this card here, I'm seeing them going through a healing of the heart to gain back their power and their freedom, I'm seeing the horse there as them moving towards you in a free way. So they are wanting you to know today that whatever is holding them back from you, whether it's a karmic relationship or something toxic or some fear-based energy or something they've been dealing with, they are releasing that to move ahead. Now, the energy of the connection is happiness. Look at that. You make them very happy. And they make you very happy. And this is what they know. If you're thinking, do they know that I can make them happy? They already know. They've realized it. They've already realized that you make them happy. They realize that. I already have realized it. You make me happy. You're the one. You're where my happiness is. You're where I belong. And I'm in tears right now over the fact that I can't touch you or be with you or laugh with you or spend time with you or talk to you. I keep looking at your messages. I kept keep checking out your social media, looking at your photos online, but it doesn't relieve me or satiate me. I need to be with you and soon. And what they're giving me there is craving, you know, feeling of saliva in the mouth. So when we hunger and we smell food, we will salivate. Our mouth will water. And that's what your person is doing today because they need to be with you and soon. They are feeling this. So there's going to be some major breakthroughs taking place as we move ahead. So be ready for that. It says be ready for some major communication from them. They are thinking about you. They're thinking about calling you, emailing you or texting you very soon. So make sure all of your old wounds are healed for this high vibrational love. So again, that's why the angels are asking you today to keep your vibration high through meditation and to focus on your goals and what you want and work on them because you're very attractive and you're very receptive right now. Now, the energy of the connection here is power. I'm seeing rebirth in this card. You know, I read these cards intuitively. So if you've got this deck or you really love this deck, you may want to read the meanings of this. But I'm seeing this as there's no need to worry. There's no need to fear. We've got the number four there. There's no need to struggle with anything because the universe has got your back and everything is under divine control. And also Lord Ganesh is moving obstacles out of the way, creating the way the universe has got your back. So you may see the 222 energy. You may also see signs of power movement like the chariot, things moving forward. But this is such a great sign that they cannot forget you and you cannot forget them. And they haven't forgotten you, if that's what you're thinking. If you're thinking, if they forgot me because of the karmic partner or because we haven't talked for a while or because of this or that, don't worry about that anymore. They can never forget you because you live inside of them. And you are the one that brings them happiness. And they know that and they've realized that. If you're thinking, do you know who I am? Of course they do. They've already realized everything about you in this connection. They just need to put that into place. So that's what you need to know today. Obstacles are being removed to bring you together. That's why you may be seeing things like building work going on. Or you may see someone, um, you know, riding one of those, um, you know, lawnmowers that's blasting things out of the way. Or you're seeing things that are showing you there's a wind of change. And I definitely feel things are changing energetically and physically. So don't be surprised if you start burping or you start releasing gas from, 
you know, you're behind because it's a big sign about movement and change. And if you are dealing with a karmic situation, make sure you watch the video a bit later on because we're going to connect with that. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.